The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? No, 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 no. We're not going to do the Pocky One Chip Challenge. I'd be fucking stupid as hell to do that. However, I do have a video up that I made about three or four days ago relating to this chip that I'm terrified to make go live. So I may do that tonight. <laughs> I may do that tonight and just not post it anywhere because I really don't want the response. But let's just say because the uh, walk to end Alzheimer's is this weekend uh, and I'm very close to a specific goal. I'm debating on if I make that goal, which would double my original goal of doing this live and respect and in tribute of all you rad motherfuckers out there that crushed it this year. Just absolutely crushed it. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I will leave it over here though for your um, for your gawking pleasure. We're here to talk about this bad boy because it's back. It's back, people. It's badder than ever. Um, no, honestly, I just recently got this from Willie of Arcade USA and one of his always amazing care packages and I have a small confession to make I have never actually I've never actually owned one of these Mattel electronic style or the Coleco ones my, my brothers had the Coleco ones I believe I've never actually owned any of these I've had them in my possession I've played them quite a bit growing up but I've never actually owned one but I remember playing these quite a bit as a kid now my brothers had them but they're quite a few years older than I was um, I was two or three when these things were coming out in the late 70s. I was born in 75. And uh, I've never actually just owned one. I've always just played with them. And when I got old enough to actually know how to play the games, they were starting to make their way to the bottom of everyone's toy box. And I would be that guy who would just dig it up because I wanted to play them and, 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 and bug people. To, you know, Do you have any batteries for this thing? I want to play this. But let's have a look at this bad boy. This was uh, gifted to me by our friend, Mr. Willie of Arcade USA, which come to think about it, you know, Willie does those care packages quite often, uh, not just for me. I mean, he sends them all over the globe. Um, but he has sent me a lot of my firsts in life. Uh, he's broken my Lynx Cherry, very first Lynx game. Uh, technically, my very first Mattel electronic handheld game. Uh, Odyssey 2 game that I got in the same package as this. Now, Willie's just a great guy. I can't I can't say that enough. And it has nothing really to do with this stuff. I mean, this highlights his kindness and his generosity. But he's just one of those really good dudes. Really good dudes. Before we open it, let's just have a closer look at the packaging. Nothing too crazy going on here. It just screams at you. It's back. Electronic basketball. Yeah, I love how fonts can define can define a brand um, just all the the goodies that they put on here a lot of legal crap uh, if you want to pause and read that I'll leave it right there for you this, this should do the trick boy I'm looking at this scary I don't know if Willie's even ever opened this or not I can't tell if he retaped it I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm about to destroy the box. <laughs> I'm about to destroy it. Now, these actually came in an actual box back in the day. Uh, you couldn't see the product. I think they do this more so for the whole wow factor. People walking by and they're like, oh my God, I had one of those back in Christmas of 78, 79. Come on, I'm packaging. Don't make me look like an asshole. Wow, this thing's really in there. Oh, I see. I see what they did. Let me get the knife back. But these came in a nice little box with a foam insert and all that stuff. Um, oh, look at that. I guess you can take it out of uh, demo mode. Here's the paperwork it comes with if you care about such things. I laugh. Come on, fat fingers, don't fail me now. Very minimalist. It's like, hey, this is the thing. This is what you do with the thing. There you go. Have a nice day. All right, so already I'm noting a whole bunch of differences with the machine. It seems to be a slightly bit wider. Um, I remember these being a little bit bigger, these being a little closer to it. This, of course, was much bigger. Um, the coloring is almost the same. I know there's a different label down here. You know what? I'll just I'll put it side by side here so you can see the differences real quick. 
And there's a little deal up here that's missing. You're going to be this bright character down here, this little dash. Um, the object is to get close enough to the net, hit the, hit the uh, shoot button, and hopefully you make a basket, and the, uh, the machine will make celebratory noises. Uh, the ball can get stolen from you. Um, you know, typical stuff. It's you're basically moving a light around, and then hopefully when you hit the button, the other light does the thing that you want it to do, and everyone's happy. There's two settings. There's a, a slower mode and a faster mode. Uh, let's start in one, because it's been years since I've ever played this game. Yay! Now, I am noticing the sounds are, are different. Now, it did say in the packaging, improved sounds. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of this. Shoot! Ah! Uh, boo! Yay! All right, one more. Oh, no! One more. Fire from here. Oh, no, I lost the ball. Lost the ball. That was stupid. There we go. Yay! You know what? Let's play a few rounds of it in the fast mode. See, it does. It speeds up quite a bit. Oh, man, it's almost impossible. I don't remember it being this hard. <laughs> oh, I suck at the basketballs. Uh, one more try. Come on, one basket. That's all I'm asking. Yay! I don't completely suck. So overall, what are my thoughts on the electronic basketball by Mattel Electronics? I think it's fun. It's simple. It harkens back to a day when simplicity was the key. Now, these things were about 35 bucks or so back then. And I think that translates to about $100 worth of our money, which goes to show you that simplicity was king back then. I mean, that's what we had for technology, uh, but we may do. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, not much going on here, to be honest with you. Um, I think their improvement on the sounds isn't all that great. I would like to have had the original sounds, but everything else on this thing, I think is great. I wish they had kept the form factor the same. Hopefully I did that whole putting the side-by-side uh, -side image on it. But uh, aside from that, what are these things, 15 bucks now? You can't go wrong with this, probably any of the other ones. And maybe, maybe we'll have a look at those down the line. But for now, this is what we got. And uh, while this is editing, I'm actually going to play a few rounds and I'm going to try to get better at the uh, speed too. So guys, let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any of these, whether it be uh, the re-releases or the originals? Do you have a specific memory opening one of these, maybe on Christmas morning or your birthday or whatever? Uh, leave them down below. Go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback too. The creep is positive. Don't forget, down below is a link. Sunday, this Sunday... It's a walk to end Alzheimer's. I'll try to come on live periodically just to say what's up. Uh, I'll probably do that more on Instagram than I will on YouTube. So if you're following me on Instagram, there you go. If not, get your ass over there. Follow me. And um, we'll have a good old time. But um, something's, something's lurking in the wind that I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the healthiest guy right now. I just had a physical. <laughs> My doctor was furious. But either way, go ahead and leave, uh, leave your thoughts and all that stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.